<laughs> this video is so peaceful, but hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Tatonic Little Grim here. Today, we're gonna be playing some Ninja Storm. And today, I'm gonna be showing you my top favorite and best duo characters that nobody uses at all. Like, I will be playing in PvP and no one uses these best duos that do a ton of damage, nice combos, and like y'all don't use these duos at all. And at the end I will be showing you my personally my favorite duo to, to, to just clap people with. But um yeah, we're gonna have to put a hole on a warframe videos maybe Fortnite because um you know basically my account got banned for seven days or six five days now because Someone was spamming pictures in a group chat and I told them to shut up and they reported me. <laughs> but it is what it is. Hate haters gonna hate. But I'm about and I don't have PS Plus and I don't have all the characters because I'm using this backup account. So this is a backup account so I don't have all the characters. But I'm gonna be showing you my characters that I use. And if you hear a voice in the background or Discord with a friend. Okay, but anyways, without further ado, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on post up notifications, and I'm gonna show y'all my top favorite characters when it comes to duels that nobody uses. So, uh, first, the top duel characters coming number three on the list that no one uses at all. We have, um, um, um wait, hold on, hold on, where is he? We have him. No, no, no. Oh, you're, are you serious? Did it really just make me go back to this peaceful beat that warms my heart? But it's all good. It's all good. As I was saying, the first character we have. King, King, Stop, King, Stop, King. The second and him. These two are the best duels. You may not know, but his uh, his uh, his, uh, his, uh, his, uh, his KG is OP, his new set, them two target together are just OP and right now I am about to show you why. So why is this why while this is loading right now you should just hit the subscribe button like while it's loading. I'll wait. I appreciate all my fans and subscribers. No, I'm not talking to the person who didn't subscribe. Alright, his attacks are nice even like look um what is it called creatures earth style attack which creates only between you and your characters and that's why you just cancel it and you see as you see I just cancel it from the game to attack off he is good and then not only that why you are he has a good double fusion like look at that look at this combo that was that's just too good you see the one like the whole team on to him, y'all may look, he may be sure he may be an old man, but he got the hand. He is also sad, they also use the both same combination. And people just don't use him. Watch this, check out. Like, look, he just. Now, let's say they both have the same combos. If you were saying I was switching characters, now they can have the same combos. That damage is actually being multiplied. That's just being transferred from different characters. Watch, boom, I hit those rocks that go up. Boom, hit those rocks that go up, go back to him. Please don't hit me. I was blocking! Saku, Saku, but you want to do this when you find nobody. You always want to hit me on the hill, No, you're weak. But yeah, Saco Hill, Saco Hill, this must be so useful. I don't know. As many times Naruto and Saco needed to take her help, they were useful. Boom! Look at this! This is why they're the best duels. These rock transformation combos are just OP. You people underestimate that if you go and PvP and do this, you're gonna be top notch. 
So basically, the best part about them is that their combination is basically a thing, and their damage is being multiplied to just drop the characters, and don't forget to do cancel, or do like a side jump. Then, then, yeah, they're, they're basically OP together. So yeah, this is will be one of my top favorite dual characters that we want to use it. This is really not about to do No, 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 I can't touch the speed. I gotta hit this special speed. Well, I, I hit the wrong one, one, but it's all good. Strong confidence in the, self these shows two, you the they're right basically way. the same people, but their combinations are decided. just OP together. And that's why they're one of my favorite people. Now that we got them out there, oh, we're going to hit my second favorite and we're going to do four. So this is going to be a, a quite long video, alright? So, you know, sit back, relax, grab your popcorn, get you something to eat, and, you know, feel free to hit that sub button. Alright, for the next people, we are indeed going to have... I've been excited for this one. Kim and Jugo. Kim and Maru, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but these two, as you know, if you watch the regular series, Jugo, he's like a, you know, he's a psychopath, and this, this bonehead was the only one who could, like, cool him down, so, them together are, like, I'm about to tell you why, them two are the close ring kings, like, okay, I'm gonna show you, alright, so we have bonehead, right, boom, he, if he has close range with light medium damage, and as you can see, that was like a good. This is what I like. All right. So let's see. I'm about to do a hit a combo with him. All right, I hit a combo with him. Next thing you know, oh yeah, my name, my name, my name, my name. let's see. I hit a combo with him. His combo is bad. But let's see. I'm in the middle of a. Com Hold on. My As I was saying, let's say I hit a combo with him, right? Then I hit the Google. Why? Why? So basically, as you see, Google's blitz, his blitz, this right here, if we're in the middle of a combo with him already, and we do Google's blitz, that's like actually good damage. And once you hit Google's blitz, that's a knockback, and then you'll go back and, and actually hit them, and you do like a nice infinity combo. I'll try to put it in both of these things, I'll try to put it in both of Oh, and by the way, something that a lot of you don't do that I have noticed, let's say you're in the middle of a combo, right? Most of you would... Oh, uh, let's see. Substitute because they're about to hit you, or like, as soon as you go out of a combo, like, you're in the see how you just substitute it behind you, most of you will also substitute when they're about to hit you, or you will just, uh, if they're about to substitute you, you'll just hit a push triangle. I think I'm just gonna push triangle first, and you will hit a rush up. But, look, watch. This is what you do. That's what you substitute. Oh, he has that. We're going to see this. See, when he substitutes, switch characters because instead of pressing triangle and circle, it's slower. You can automatically go to all the characters that you switch to automatically work again. So let's say he substitutes. It didn't work, but he switch characters instantly. As soon as he substitutes, that way there's like no cooldown. He doesn't, he can't hit you in time because you're already his character. The character that he switched to is already rushing him. He hit me and I was behind you. But back to Jugo and Kimimaru. These are my favorite because like Jugo, he's just a heavy hitter and period. And he is actually wow, I would have hit that. Kimimaru is actually fast and you can put it in the combo to the bone and get and like, if you do knockback combos, like the combo I just did when he, he did a sword on with bones in the air, as soon as he goes in the air, I'm going to try to demonstrate. 
Okay, and then, then he goes in the air when he he blocking him. When he goes in the air, you rush him in the air, do an air combo, switch to Drew, and Drew can hit a heavy hit and slam him to the ground, which creates a good amount of damage. And this is why I like him a lot. If you want me damage, keep on the feet, but I just did. And then you can switch to mid air, boom. But use Drew because Drew can be easy. You might want to put on him. Better. And their specialties. You see him all the specialties are OP. Because the combos that he just do are just crazy. Like, he got under SMM. Boom, good character. You, you, you just do a speed break and draw Drugo and finish when you hit that knockback. Yeah, I like that. I've seen that side jump. The side jumps are very useful, which a lot of y'all do not do. I'm getting trophies out, probably gonna have these trophies, but yeah, this is one of my favorite duels, like I was saying, use these duels guys, please, you will become, if you want to become a god, you will use these duels, these duels are very useful and would be perfect in PvP matches, like these duels you do you underestimate, because no one using them, like people, Use Rock Lee, Neji, Itachi, Sishui. Not every people use Minato, Naruto. Yeah, they're OP and all, but those aren't the duels that you like want to use. Yeah, they do good damage, but the characters that you barely see in a series are like one of the most effective characters in a game. On to my next duel, and one of my third to last that people well, you do need to buy this, but Momo Shiki. Adakaski and his, his bodyguard. These two people are very good and useful. Number one, Momosuki. She does a lot. He does a lot of damage. For number one, him and his teammate have one of the longest specialties in the game, and he does an incredible amount of damage. Not only that, Momoshiki uses all four elements, from water to fire, to lightning to water to earth, and you could put infinite combos in what her it's with his juices because. It, he has one, also has one of the longest combos. I'm not going to explain to you what I mean. Alright, if you look here, palm getting slapped. Alright, if you look here, fire, you have fire, which goes up, lightning. And this Phoenix, this is what I love. This Phoenix hits so good, it does so much damage. If you just want to be a bot, all you have to do is spam it and like you're basically invincible. It does so much damage. Um, alright, back to Momo Shiki. The fact that he does a lot of damage with all four elements is crazy. First, because one, why Momo Shiki is OP is because like Google's Momo Shiki teammate is a heavy hitter. And his, yeah, he is like he does a lot of damage. He is hard. He is. People who like have a lower like people are faster like Brock Lee, Nezzy, like the like faster people on Nezzy farm. He hit so his his attack hit mighty hard. So if we're in a, like a mid combo, I can't put this right now. But if we're in a mid combo like this, well he already died. This is how you know Mumushiki is OP and why you need Mumushiki and his teammates. They're confident with this incident. Watch this. So, why I love Momo Shiki is her combo that she would have put you in the air. Her air combo is you could do this for anybody. Alright, watch. So, basically, you're fighting, you go up, you go up, you touch it up, you turn them right up in the air, rush them, boom, switch to his teammate. Boom, that's heavy hits to the ground, which gives a long gap of damage. What I also like about them too, check this out. Their special move is the best special team in a game. Like, you could never doubt these special moves. Look how long the special move is. Like, yeah, the damage is a top notch. Actually, it is. But, like, look at this. Look at this. Moment of time. Let's switch, let's just carry this to see what he could do. You clearly need my help. Oh, back to him. No 
see, look, look. That was just a, a, a like a little a spec move, and that did so much damage. This is what, bro. Y'all just don't like these I'll characters for some reason. You're good. But his special move is also long. What I really love about these characters is when she sees four element combos, which creates a lot of damage, and also her Phoenix wave. Adding, and once you hit our Phoenix wave, if you rush with big guy right here, that got us like that's basically an infinite combo, and that's what I love about these two that no one uses. Use these duos! And now we're about to go to my last but not least favorite duo that I use this duo more than I use these people more than anyone in the game. Anyone. Um do not use this duo because it's completely broken and no one has noticed it. But my favorite personal favorite duo is Zabuza and Haku. Yes, this is my personal favorite duo. Alright, let's get this straight. Zabuza, why I like this duo, Zabuza is the counter boss. I love him because his water dragon Yusu is made for countering. When you substitute, they will instantly rush you with Zabuza. Is like the water dragon jutsu it comes quick so when they're trying to come when they're trying to come to you that counter is crazy Haku on the other hand is basically on a slow base of a deadly now watch this watch this and hidden miss jutsu I like this because if they're rushing you the hidden miss jutsu is, is you will catch it off guard and Haku he has the best he has the best um R1, L1 ability, and her speed is just invincible. Like, she's fast, and you can create infinite combos with her. Zabu's on her is just OP. Alright, let me show you the other game, please. Look how fast Haku is. She's basically on a skill base number as Legend. And then she has the end of that combo when she pushes the ice back up in the air. She high. She sends you higher than any normal character would. Keeping you long in the air, making you switch with about three times, switch your character about three times in the air, creating multiple damage, making your character mad high. Right, let me show you for example. Boom, she sends those ice sticks up. Oh, she runs down. Look how much damage I've done already. I should have let them hit me. But I'm just starting with look how much damage I've done. That's because Hockey does a lot of damage and her speed is just incredible at the same exact time. Back to Zabiza. If I could do more Chakra. Ah, bro, Chakra. I love this shit. This grab is grab is amazing. But his water dragon V2 is the best combo. Like you can always rely on it. And yes, this his combos. Look how much damage I did. That was one combo. Now let me show you a combo with them to combine together. And this is why they're my favorite. Boom, rush me, rush me. Anyway, alright, if, if they would have been like a straight up taco or rush, then, like, I even hit that, but they would have hit a straight up taco or rush, and then rush me full speed. They hit him as Yuki, you cannot block because it covers your body. It's not like me and when you're throwing cool knives, and you could just suck it behind him and hit him. But with Zabu's, all you have to do behind him, you're still in the middle of his mist. So either way that goes, you wish his specialty would still be hidden. Like, you see it comes to his whole body, but this is something that he just can't die. And look at that. I love these two characters so much. And then the water dragon Goofy is so OP, because if she would rush me, and next thing you know, water dragon Goofy is just... It comes and goes and then it follows you. That's the thing. It's like Hiroshima's wood. It follows you. So his dragon jutsu will follow you. While he's rushing you, or if you're trying to, if he rushes you and you see the water dragon jutsu, they would, if, they, if they're a good player and they will see it coming, then they would side jump out of the jutsu. But the water dragon jutsu follows you, hitting them. And that's basically it. I and mean, that's just why I love them too. This is my favorite duo, but I'm just gonna do like one quick gameplay with them seriously to show you what they're really capable of doing. So, gotta focus. Here I go. 
Here I go. Please don't resent me. This is the fate of a ninja. Let's just watch the night they beat me up. I took a chance to bang them. I think I have to take a bad thing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If before he did the raw thing on, he should have did the the rush thing. And then now it automatically you draw but you need to do it with I'm gonna say I'm talking about it. Whoa, 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 why are you doing too much? No, I refuse to leave. Here I go. Right here. Right here. Oh, oh no, hold on y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, y'all, hold on. I know y'all could y'all could leave the video right here, but I'm not going out like that. No, nobody, no. See, look, look at the Water Dragon Jutsu. That was an easy counter attack. As you see, he, he put out both his stuff with Jutsu, and he was also attacking at the same time, but the Water Dragon Jutsu canceled all that out. But the Water Dragon Jutsu canceled his first attack out. 
see, look, they couldn't do anything to me. It, it covers up his whole body, so you, as I said, like, me and the or anybody else who just go to school and has our punches, he couldn't come up behind me and just hit me because my water got my UC is automatic. You just can't do it. Look, look, boom. Aw, oh, messed up. Alright, let me show you why I like talking. This is why you're the best duel. Alright, so if I can hit that, watch this. Knocks them in the air, and once they, alright, I missed them. Once they knock you in the air, then you can hit you like a nice air combo, which is very long. Longer than any other combo you can perform in the game. This is something that a lot of people do not do. A lot of people just go for regular comp downside combos like this. Well, you're about to die, buddy. I can say that. Like, look at the water that I can do too. The hand sounds are very fast. Faster than Kakashi. But this is what a lot of people do. This is what you do. Alright, let me, let me cancel this out right there. Alright, now this is what you do and don't do. Alright, this is what you don't do. Come on, come on, Naruto. Let's not be difficult, please. Alright, this is what you want to do. I mean, you could do this if you want, but this is what I do not do. Instead, do this. Do this and say Up in the air, watch them in the air. And then that's like a long combo. So once they hit you in the air, then you rush them in the air. And then that's like a long combo. are you trying to throw Alright, but yeah, I just had to get my revenge. But once you put that's them... The end, isn't ignore it? the screaming in the in background, but... Once you put them up in the air, then like that's like a nice combo. It does a lot of damage. So instead of going for regular combos... Once you're in the middle, one combo, switch characters, you got one switch characters, again, throw them up in the air, rush them in the air, hit them with one character, switch characters one time, then that last character, slam them down to the ground, causing infinite damage. Now, another thing I do, I use Shishu and Itachi a lot. I think with the Shishuis, his specialty is made for spamming. So, when it comes to his specialty, okay, let's say you have Itachi, use the Itachi combo, you throw him in the air, now, Shishui has a big bubble as you can see. While the characters is in the air, you switch characters, go to Shishui, or put them in the air with Shishui. Then, you use Shishui specialty, he will dash to your character, use the big bubble. And as your character is in mid air, he will fall down onto Shishui. Then, he will hit the special move, and that's a crazy combo right there. So, if your character switching through all your combos, put him in the air, go to Shishui, use the specialty. Fall down, hit the bubble. Now that's a nice combo. But yeah, these are my favorite dual characters, especially Zabuza. Start using the most underrated characters because this is the characters that no one uses at all. But anyways, YouTube, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Without further ado, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and until next time, YouTube, peace.